Welcome to Linux Excel tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install and use ATAP command. ATAP command in Linux. It is a command line tool and also efficient to monitor the load on Linux system. It shows system hardware resources including CPU, memory, disk statics and also network statics. Let me see how to install and use the ATAP command. Now I am going to install ATAP command. Before you install this ATAP command, you should enable the ePL repository. Once you install the ePL repository, now download install the ATAP by using this command. After under this command, hit enter. Now press Y to continue. Now the package will be installed. After installing ATAP, you should add the ATAP into system startup. Let me see how to do this. So this is the procedure to add ATAP into your startup by using chconfig. After enter this command, hit enter now. And also I'm going to add ATAP into run levels. So after enter this command, hit enter now. So it will be added successfully. Now I am going to execute the ATAP command. Type ATAP here. So I have to enter this command. Hit enter now. So this is the ATAP uh, output. It will be shows the your system status about your CPU, disk, and uh, memory options. It will it will shows about your system resources like CPU status memory status and network status etc it also have several options to monitor the specific task running in your system let me see how to use that now quit this ATAP terminal by pressing Q now I am going to run the ATAP command with uh, iPhone M option it will be shows the information and statics about uh, memory of your system after under this command hit enter now here you can easily understand your uh, memory static information by using this a top with the option M now next I am going to now next I am going to run with A top with iPhone A option. It will be shows the all active running process in your machine. After under this command hit enter now. So it will be shows the all activities information about your system by using A top with option A. Now next option is iPhone S. It will be shows the scheduling information about your system. So after enter this command, hit enter now. So it will be shows your scheduling process of your system. Next, I am going to use a top with D option. It will be shows the disk activities of your system. After enter this command, hit enter now. So it will be shows your disk status information or DDSK and WRDSK, which is readable and writable we shows here here by using a talk with d option to view your disk status information now next i am going to use a top with iphone v option it will be shows the variable information of your system running process like uh, uid pid gid and cpu usage and many more options now it will be shows the variable, variable running statics of your systems and also different option will be shown here so after seeing this press Q to quit this terminal next I am going to use a top with option C option after enter this command hit enter now so using option C shows the uh, output in command line per process so it will be shows the output as common line per process. So again, Q to quit this terminal. 
Next I am going to use a data with IFNP option. It shows the cumulative per program. Under this command, press enter now. So it will be shows here CMD. So it will be shows the which programs will currently active at shown in this in lost terminal. So you can easily understand uh, current running process by using this uh, a top iPhone P option. You see you can find the current running process. Next I am going to use a top option with the U. It shows which user are active during the last intervals and indicates how many process each users run. After enter this command, hit enter now. Now it will be shows which user were active during last interval and indicates how many process each user runs by using this ATA Python U option. Next, I am going to use ATOP with the iPhone Y option. It will be shows the threads of the running processes. It will be shows a single or multiple threads present in that specific process. After under this command, hit enter now. So it will be shows the thread of that uh, particular package. So it will be repeated multi means It will be shows in different color. See here. So this is easy to monitor the threads of the running process. So now quit this terminal by pressing Q. If you want to view the user defined line of process, you can use a top with the iPhone O option. Now hit enter after under this command. It will be shows the user defined line of process. It will be shown here by using a top iPhone O option. If you want to view only the CPU statics, use ATOP with option C, capital C. So it will be shows the CPU percentage how much it will be consumed will be shown here. Now same procedure if you want to view the memory statics by using ATOP plus uppercase M, it will be displays only the memory static details specifically. At last, it will be shows the how much memory consumed in each process will be shown here. Now, the same way to check your disk space and disk usage statics, data Python D option, upper KSD option, hit enter now. It will be shows the disk space will be consumed, how much disk space will be consumed will be shown here. If you want to check the version of a top use option uppercase v now hit enter now it will be shows the version of the current version of the a top will be shown here this was the option to use the a top for monitoring our system performance that's all about this tutorial let me see you on another video thank you